Hey guys, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my best Amazon buys. These are all things that I've bought in the last year and I thought it might be really fun just to share some of my favourite Amazon products. I must confess there is one product in here that I haven't actually used yet but I just really wanted to share it with you because I'm going to do a full review of it in another video and I just thought it might be interesting to have like a pre-use chat about it, um, if you will. So I'll let you know when that one comes up. But I would love to hear about your favorite Amazon buys. If you have any of the products that you see, let me know, tell me what you think, and let's get on. So I'm gonna start off with my brand new Oral-B Pro 2 toothbrush, Oral-B Pro 2. I'm gonna link to everything below. So if I say any of the names wrong, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna try and get them all right, but everything will be linked below. I recently was using a manual toothbrush. Before that, I had one of these super duper cheap Oral-B toothbrushes for quite a while. I switched to a manual because I just wanted to give it a try. I felt sometimes like the vibrations were a little bit like uncomfortable. I wasn't sure if I was brushing too hard, if I was doing damage to my teeth. So I decided to try a manual for a little while. I also found the refills quite expensive, the changed heads. So I decided to try a manual. Didn't really find that it was cleaning my teeth particularly well. So this was on offer. This was half price down to $39.99 on Amazon. So I thought, hey, I'll give it a go. Got it about two weeks ago and I love it. I've never had an electric toothbrush this fancy before. Um, all my other ones have just been very basic, no lights. This one flashes when it's charging. Um, it's got a little charger light there. And it also has a sensor that tells you when you are pressing down on the gum too hard, which I love because as I said, I've been really paranoid that I'm brushing too hard. So if you push too hard, it slows down and that red light comes on. So I think that's really good. Um, it got two different speed settings, so it's got a fast, it's got a slower one, um, and the slower one is meant for brushing around your gum area. Um, I just really love it. It's also got a timer, so it times your two minutes so you know you're brushing enough time. Honestly, my teeth feel so much cleaner even after just two weeks of use. I really, really rate it. I think the brush head's really good. Um, leaves my teeth feeling nice and smooth. And yeah, I'm really pleased so far. I have zero complaints. And as I said, it's on offer. It's like half price at £40 at the moment. Um, I do have to say though, I think I'm pretty sure I have seen it in other shops at half price too. So it's not just Amazon that has the offer on it. Um, but in terms of electric toothbrushes, it's much better than the old one that I had, which was the cheapest, cheapest Oral-B version that I could find. So, and it's certainly better than a manual brush. Next product, this is the one that I haven't used yet. Um, I recently decided to try out Moon Cup. Now, I haven't had a chance to use it yet because it hasn't been the time of the month yet. Um, I chose the Moon Cup having looked on Amazon and seen just so many different products. I was so overwhelmed by the number of menstrual cups that were on the market. Um, there was Moon Cup, there was Diva Cup, there was so many, there was just dozens on there. A lot of them had great reviews. I was really confused as to which one to choose. So in the end, I went with the Moon Cup reusable menstrual cup. Had to get it in size A because my kids have broken my vagina. Thanks, kids. Um, so I've never used one before. I use tampons and pads. But this just really intrigued me because it's reusable. I like the idea of not having to buy tampons every single month. I like the idea of being more environmentally friendly. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, I'll be honest. It, it does look quite big. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but what I'm gonna do is a full review when I have used it. I'll let you guys know what I think and talk about how you use it and whether I think it's any good. I'll do that. Um, once I've had a chance to give it a go. So yeah, watch this space on the Moon Cup. My next product, I have two of these, the Tangle Teaser. I use one on the girls, I use one on myself. I just love it. Comes in a huge range of colors and designs. Um, you can get one with a handle on as well. But in terms of like brushing your hair, I don't really think you can get much better. And what I love about it is when the kids have got tangled hair, it is pulling out those tangles without upsetting them too much. Obviously, we still get a few complaints because, you know, it's kids and hair brushing. You know, like, it wouldn't be normal if they weren't complaining. But overall, I find it to be a really, really great way of dealing with tangles, both for my hair and for their hair. My next favourite product is this gorgeous bathroom shelf um, for the bathtub. It's great because it's one size fits all. I saw it on Mrs. Hinch's profile last year, I think it was, and I ordered one because I was in the market for a white one. 
didn't want to spend too much money it was less than 20 pounds um, I just love the look of it it's nice and simple fit the bath width perfectly I love the two different tiers of shelving on there you can get everything that you need you can prop up an iPad if you want to or your phone prop a book up on there it's really really nice and I love that it just blends into the rest of the bathroom and um, the bathtub and just looks really nice and neat on there so while we're in the bathroom I'm going to talk about this simple human tension caddy it comes with three shelves but you can also add a set of hooks to it as well um, I haven't used those in here because I don't really need them as you can see the three shelves hold so much stuff on them it's just perfect I love the fact that you don't have to drill to install it installing it takes just a matter of minutes it's adjustable for different ceiling heights so if you've got a much lower shower um, you can adjust it for that if you've got a very um, tall ceiling in your bathroom you can adjust it for that obviously check the measurements before you order it for your own bathroom but I just love how simple it was to install it's stayed clean it hasn't gone rusty so far we've had it for a year and it has just kept so much of our stuff together in one place nice and tidy it's a really really great product it isn't cheap I'm going to be completely honest it's a not a cheap shower caddy option there are way cheaper tension shower caddies on the market but I have to say I don't regret buying this one it has been really fantastic and moving on still in the bathroom these three little floating shelves these are just so cute I really really love how easy they are to put up obviously they don't hold a great deal of stuff they're really a decorative item but if you look at them with these three little plants on which each of them came from ikea look at them with those plants on i think it's a really nice finishing touch for a bathroom they're made by umbra and they were about they were less than 15 pounds i think if you go online at the moment the price does fluctuate around but certainly less than 15 pounds for the three of them i think they're really cute for putting little little plants on little candles or any small decorative vases with little flowers in or something that you can put in there um, they're a really cute finishing touch for a bathroom and while we're on the subject of trios of shelves um, i've got this trio of shelves in our living room they were not as easy to hang as the umbra shelves were. You need to hang each bracket um, level for each shelf. I mean, it's not the worst job in the world, but it is just a little bit fiddly. However, I really like them. I really love the dark wood. I think it looks nice. If you did want to paint them, that would be really, really easy. The wood would just need a very quick sanding. It's not highly polished or anything like that. But it's nice because these shelves can hold pictures, they can hold candles, they can hold vases. Um, they're a little bit sturdier than the ones that I just showed. Okay, so now moving into the car. Um, I got this carbon again. It's another one I saw on Mrs. Hinch's Instagram account, but I just couldn't resist it. Um, my bin, my bin, my car car is always a total tip so I thought right I'm going to bite the bullet get a little bin it comes with um, a selection of plastic bags to line the bin with and I just take the bin in every few weeks or so as and when it builds up a bit but it's really cute it squashes down to compact it so if you need to squeeze it into your glove box you can do uh, it doesn't take up very much space at all and it's got a nice handy little elasticated band so that you can hook it on something in the car um, and keep it in place so for the kids i recently bought them this very bright pink um tough tray now i've been reading about tough trays loads online and seeing people doing all kinds of like imaginative play stuff with their kids with them and i just really fancied giving one a try I found this one on amazon i just loved the fact that it was like bright pink because all the other ones i'd seen were black or gray and this one seemed a bit more fun it's a really good size both girls can sit in it while they're playing with stuff so at the moment the only thing i've really been giving them to play in it is this kinetic sand which i'll just show you in the tupperware box that i keep it in so the kinetic sand that's another amazon purchase it is really easy to shape and mold it doesn't make too much mess the kids haven't trodden it all through the house like they would normal sand um i just really think it's a fab little toy for kids their age so it's certainly more of a two and a half plus um toy like you wouldn't want your child to chew on it and swallow it um, you can get it in various different colors although as you can see the four colors that i did buy have merged to create just kind of a purple splodge of a color which is fine um but just to let you know maybe don't worry too much about um buying different colors because they're all going to end up merged together anyway the packs of kinetic sand a lot of them come with 
these molds they're not very big they're quite tiny molds so obviously if you want something a bit bigger and a bit more like um, exciting for your child you might want to give them a bucket to use the sand with the bucket the bags of sand come um, in quite small quantities when you order them so don't expect like a kilo of like a huge 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 amount of sand um, for your child to play with but the girls have really really loved playing with the kinetic sand and it's perfect to go with this tough tray um, I've seen so many different ideas for tough tray play out there. I'm not particularly good with the messy play, but I'm going to try and do a bit more. I think in the summer with this tough tray, I might do things like fill it up with a little bit of water, chuck some ice cubes in there. I might like dye the ice cubes just to make them a bit more fun and just let the kids like play and cool down a bit. Next up, this desk, which was such a good buy. It was less than £40. It is such a good home office desk. It's very, very basic, very, very simple, but it was easy to construct. It looks really neat and tidy. It's not too big. Easily fits a computer on top, plus some extra space for whatever work you need to do. It's nice and tall, so even tall people can fit their legs under it, because, you know, a lot of desks can be a bit short and a bit, like, annoying. You're just bumping your knees on it the whole time. As I said, a really, really good value buy. Much cheaper than the ones that were similar in Ikea and Argos. Less than £40, and actually the finish on it is really, really quite nice. It's a great choice for your home office. And I've shown this on here before a couple of times, I think, but I just love it. This is where I store my brooms and my um, dustpan and brush and a uh, feather duster. It's a lovely little rack for keeping your brooms, brushes, mops, etc. tidy. So you've got slots there to fit broom handles into, but then you've also got hooks on either side where you can hang up a dustpan and brush and whatever else you might want to hang there. It was really, really easy to install. Just had to drill a couple of holes and then screw it in and it was all done. Keeps everything nice and neat. You haven't got broom handles like flying out at you when you open the utility room door, which is ideal. Next up, I've got this really cool little phone stand for your car. Now I've always used for sat navs the kind of sucker holders that stick to the windshield and I don't know if you find this but like they just fall off every five minutes it gets really really annoying like sometimes you get lucky and you stick them on properly and they stay there for the whole journey but often they're falling off so if you're if you've got a sat nav on your phone this is really really great way to prop up your phone on a dashboard so you can see it and you can use the sat nav on your phone without balancing it in your lap or having to rely on the person next to you to shout out the instructions or having to like just listen to the instructions and not being able to see the map so it fits really really easily to the dashboard it will fit all phones it's universal and it was cheap 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 as chips like well under five pounds um, and it looks nice and subtle it's black um, it's not too big and bulky but it keeps your phone nice and secure so that you can use your sat nav and get to where you need to go this storage unit we've had for about six months or so now and we keep it in the conservatory. It is a brilliant way of categorising the children's toys. So at the moment it's a bit of a mess, I confess. Like I thought about tidying it up before shooting this but I'm, I'm afraid I just don't have the time today so it is a mess. But what I tried to do is on the top I have miscellaneous buckets for sort of puzzle pieces, bits of Lego, things that eventually I will put away where they belong but I just don't have the time to put them away right now. So they go in those three pots at the top. Then below I've got a Paw Patrol pot, I've got a dolls and doll accessories pot, I've got a Peppa Pig pot, I've got cars, you know, I've got a variety of little themed pots down there, Sylvanian families one down there too. Um, the kids can just pick up the boxes, carry them to wherever they want to play and play away, and then it's nice and easy for them and for me to put things away. It's all at their level, so I can ask them to tidy up and there's no excuses for them not to be able to help me out. Okay, and my final Amazon Best Buy is this beauty blender. It has really like changed the way that I apply my makeup every day. I just love it for applying concealer. I actually may well get another one to do my foundation with as well. Um, I'm still using a brush for that, but I just think it is fantastic. So what I do is I just apply my concealer like that with kind of like the teardrop end there. And I've just found that it applies it so much better than when I was doing it with my fingers and with the applicator um, that came with the concealer. So much better, so much more like even coverage and um, I found that I wasn't wasting as much either and it washes really well. So I've had this for quite a few months now, it's still in really really good nick. Um, I just give it a rinse like once or twice a week or so. Um, I still keep it in the little 
pot that it came in but yeah i absolutely love the beauty blender they're not necessarily cheap and you can get ones that are not this, see this is the original beauty blender um and you can get ones that are non-branded um that are much cheaper like obviously i haven't tried those but you know if you want to look for a cheaper option because this was about 15 pounds which is quite a lot for a diddy sponge um if you want to look for cheaper options then i have seen loads on the market out there if you're looking for a new way to like apply your makeup I really really recommend one of these sponges it's really really good so those are my Amazon best buys I really hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please don't forget to hit subscribe for more parenting cleaning lifestyle and organizing videos thanks for watching guys bye